Hello everyone, my name is Camila Lima Pires. I'm a technical consultant with Summit Technologies in Calgary, Alberta. This video will cover how to renumber parking stalls in Revit using Dynamo. Um, I have tested in Revit 2017, 18, and 19, and I'm using Dynamo version of 2.0. So what I have here are some parking stalls, and I have placed the tags using the tag all option. So you can load the tag first and then you can select the parking tags and pick the type you want and click OK. By doing that, you're going to load, you're going to tag all the parking stalls at the same time. So the goal is to be able to use the Dynamo player and not open the codes. So for users, that's going to be a lot easier because they don't get confused by seeing all of those codes. And they don't know what to work where they need to put information, what they can change. You know, they can be very frustrated if they don't know what they're doing. So it's easier to use the Dynamo player. So let's take a look at the code here. And I'm going to use a spline. So that would be the model element to select. And I wrote, I put this as an input. And the other one that is an input is the number because sometimes we want to continue you know we draw this spline and then there's parking stalls further away instead of doing all this the line all the way along your your site plan you can stop and continue from a certain point so on this code you have the model element divided by segment and here is the category which is the parking and then it filters by the, the, the parking tags that are passed through the spline. And here we have the input, which is the number and the mark. It, that's the parameter name that is reading at the, the, the parking, parking stall. So let's close here and open the Dynamo player so I can demonstrate this better. So I'm going to click play and the window will pop up asking me to select a model so I can draw the line here, my spline. So I can come here, select, click the spline and press play. So the number it's going to start from where I started this spline and it's going to end where I end this point so to the last uh, parking stall that it passed through. There we go. So what I was saying is I can continue from here So I can come back and select another line and continue from 12. So the other option was I create a, a code where you can add a prefix in your parking stall, in your parking tags. So let's take a look at the other option. So here we go. It renumbers and continue from where I left. So the other option is this one with a prefix. And the only difference between these two is I have a different area here where you can add the prefix. And I select this string to be my, my prefix and as an input. So I can always come here and you know, rename this so it can be easier for people to understand a string. What does that mean? So let's put a prefix so they know what does that mean. Um, so yeah, that was it. That was going to be able to read the, to add the prefix on the code. So let's close this one. Let's save. And when I click play, the same thing, that window will pop up and ask me to select a model line. And I'm going to select this one here. 
and I will continue from 12 and let's leave as p2 but the prefix can be changed so after press play the way that I wrote their code it's going to be p2-12 so you don't need to add a dash here because it's gonna I add the dash in a another point. So you don't want to see a double dash. There we go. Um hope this increased productivity at your company and thanks for watching the video.